Brink goes free to play, Path of Exile hits Xbox One, all that and more, I'm Zach Sharps and this is Free to Play Weekly. First up in the news this week, following the closure of Ghost in the Shell First Assault servers in Japan, it doesn't come as much of a surprise that Nexon would follow suit with the free to play shooter here in the west. The company announced plans to shutter the game on December 6th, which means there's still time for you to get some games in if you are a fan of the game. Due to this, Nexon has closed the game shop, but there isn't mention of refunds for already purchased items. Sucks for fans of the game, but even for them, I bet this news wasn't that surprising. One shooter dies, another one with a familiar face rises from the dead. The phoenix I'm talking about is Splash Damage's first person shooter, Brink. If you don't usually follow the game, you probably didn't see much mention that it went free to play, mainly because they didn't really roll it out on the red carpet like most games do. Not only that, but the developer doesn't seem to have anything regarding the announcement of the shift on their website, but hey, that just means this isn't a cash in, right? Before the Switch, the game had about 10 people playing. After the Switch to free to play, the game has over double the concurrent players that Lawbreakers has, sitting at 1,278 at the time of this recording. Pretty neat shift by Splash Damage, and seems like so far, it's a pretty successful move. If racing is more your taste, Saber Interactive and Mad Dog Games free to play racing game World of Speed has entered early access on Steam. Those who participate in the early access will not only get to play a bit earlier than everyone else, but they'll also receive a few rewards including 5,000 credits, 500 diamonds, and 15 days premium time. On top of that, there are three packs available to purchase that contain different cars. Reviews on Steam are pretty optimistic in comparison to other early access titles, and right now it's sitting at mostly positive at 73%. Hopefully over time that number improves, because personally, I wouldn't really mind a good massively multiplayer online racing game. What about you? Leave me a comment down below. The game that has claimed my soul this month, Grinding Gear Games Free to Play Action RPG Path of Exile has launched on Microsoft's Xbox One. As a result, this means that Xbox One players have access to all 10 acts as well as all bosses and other content those on PC are already playing. In addition, the game has also launched in China with the help of Tencent who seems to have a hand in everything these days. It's pretty awesome to see the highest quality action RPG expand towards new platforms and new countries, but it does beg a question, so it's time for the question of the week. Last week on the show, I asked what video game series deserves a TV series. Most of you guys stuck with Bethesda titles like The Elder Scrolls or Fallout, but a user by the name of Abrax13 stated the following. I think that Warframe should get its own TV show. It has some really great lore and ever-expanding story and a very dedicated fan base. Thanks for all your guys' responses and as always, if you wish for your comment boss to be featured on next week's show, make sure to leave a comment down below. This week's question is, do you own a console? If so, which one? Last up in the news this week, those of you anticipating Radiant World's free-to-play sandbox Sky Saga may be unhappy to hear that negotiations with their publisher Smilegate have crumbled. The negotiations were to renew the company's recently expired contract and the game has now been put on hold for an indefinite period of time. Since the game is Radiant World's only property, that means that everyone in the studio couldn't be soon out of a job. As a result, the CEO of Radiant Worlds, Philip Oliver, and other executives are shocked due to Smilegate's decision, especially after four years working on the game. It's always unfortunate for families of these devs in situations like this, but hopefully those affected will land jobs elsewhere. You know what is an unfortunate? Giveaways, of course. Yes, head on over to mobomp.com, check out that giveaways page, bookmark it, and check it daily to ensure you never miss one. As for myself, signing out until next week's show, my name is Zach Sharps, and I'll catch you guys next time.